My name is Brandon Leggett. I'm a senior and I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Hey, I'm Parker Wingard. I'm a freshman and I'm in the A to Zeta chapter of the Sigma Chi Fraternity. Hi, my name is Kayla Wee and I'm a junior and I'm a part of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. What inspired you to go Greek? Um, I was just looking for a good group of friends that would further me in leadership and in my social aspects of my life and um, be good role models for me as well. Uh, I decided to join a great organization just because of the people I grew up around, um, seeing them in a sorority and fraternity and like the sisterhood and the brotherhood. like. That they embodied the community service and they were just always like positive people doing things in the community and really making a change. Uh, for me, I chose to be Greek because most of the men and women who heavily impacted my life were a part of the Greek labor organizations. So I saw that leadership and decided I wanted to be a part of something like that. What do y'all think the key difference is between Greek Life on Row and the Divine Nine are? And then even if like you feel like something seems like stereotypical, well, we can like address those later. Like, this is an opportunity for us to kind of like come together. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The biggest difference, like, kind of is like we're like historically black. They're kind of like historically, you know, white. Like, even when you look at us yeah. right now, like we're represented D9 and he's IFC. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like back in the day, kind of like we weren't allowed to join those things, and we kind of made our own thing, and that's kind of like the divide. Even though like. It's better now because even in there, you see black people and in the yeah. IOC, you also see white people in D9. So it's starting to, you know, intermingle a little bit, which I think is cool. I think it's dope. They just do more um, as far as like they're able to do more as far as like parties. Um, I feel like it's always something to do down there, and we don't have houses, well, official houses yeah. on campus. So that's a different. Um, Thing that I see. What I do know, I feel like it's basically it's founded on like the same like principles and like ideas that this is going to be a group of people that are close together and are going to help each other out in any way they can, both on the fraternity and the sorority aspect of it. And so I feel like that is very similar. What's a question y'all want to ask one another? Do you all have like grad chapters? So like after college, you join? Yeah, they they do. It's not like super official but they'll have they'll have meetings and like their own like every month they'll get together it's not as like active as it is in college but afterwards yeah they definitely do that's kind of like a bit different like how he said so like for us once we graduate there's graduate chapters where you kind of do it's not as much partying but you still do a lot of the same exact things that you would do if you were on a college campus so is y'all's uh what'd you say cross is that like once you're initiated into the fraternity or sorority? Yeah. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what do you all? Just once you're initiated. Oh, y'all do rush. Yeah. Rush. What do y'all do? We, we just, we don't call it a rush. So like you guys kind of like have like a whole rush thing. Yes. Yeah. You know, y'all have like a rush poster. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. We kind of just, um, we just, we, I don't know how to answer this. Um, it's discreet. Like, you yeah. don't, we don't like publicize like you know broadcast. Yeah, like mm -hmm. hey, we're about to have this. It's just like you know. We're like, boom, we're here. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all have like a rush week, and what does that consist of? Um, millennials past it has been where just all the row is open, all the houses are open, all the doors are open to the houses, and the whole fraternity is in their house. And whoever's rushing, they can just walk down the row and walk into whoever's house they want to. That's how it is for fraternities. For sororities it's different. It's more of like a organized, they go in groups to each of the houses and like it's a process. Are there any stereotypes y'all would like to address? I mean it's stereotypes within like D9. Like, people may say deltas are mean or they're bullies or people may say the AKAs are bougie. Um, what's another one? Q's are nasty. Alphas are super smart. You know, the Kappas are just pretty boys. Sigmas really don't have that stereotype. It's kind of like, oh, I am a Sigma. Yeah, you can just be wherever you want to be. Like, everybody's different. Like, you go to this campus, we're one way, and then you go to 
Pi Alpha as to Georgia State, they're completely different. But those stereotypes are like false. You can be like whoever you want to be in any organization if you choose to. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> to add to that. I know we have like Greek life, like the Greek week. I think it'd be cooler if we could organize things where we can get to know each other a little bit better because it's like, I don't know you other than maybe like stereotypes about you, yeah. you know, and you don't know anything about me. So right. it's kind of like, what do y'all want to ask me? But at the same time, I don't want to like offend you or anything either. Yeah, yeah, you know? no. So I completely agree that we need to be more involved with everybody as a whole. Yeah. yeah it'll be better all across the board. At Georgia Southern, is there anything you would like to change about Greek life here? Um, if I had to change anything, I would say like common like misconceptions. Uh, how some people think like once you cross, like you're on a pedestal like Brandon was saying and oh I can't talk to her, I can't talk to him and people just misconstrued a lot of things. Like no, I'm still the same person I was freshman year. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like we can be a little bit more like inclusive, number one, with like each other sometimes. You know, I know it's hard because everybody's got their different schedules, but we're more inclusive with each other and also be more inclusive with like people who aren't Greek, you know, because like I don't want people that aren't Greek to feel like we feel like we're on a pedestal or we're like a leak because we're not. Like, I'm like, I'm still Brandon, I'm just Brandon D. Sigma. Like, you can still come talk to me. So I always try to find ways that we can kind of reach out to you guys a little bit more. That's why I'm here, you know, to show y'all, like, we care about y'all, like, y'all are people, too, so.